when people think Montana, they think massive mountains and beautiful trout streams and rolling agricultural lands with cattle that can survive 40 below weather and cowboys it's on horseback rather than ATVs, really going back in time almost. It's never been that way for Montanans. It's not going back in time, it's preserving what we're lucky enough to love. There's a lot of freedom, which is what's always drawn me back. I've been fortunate to travel a lot of places in this world, and I'm always drawn back to the Big Hole Valley. There's just a, an ethic here that you don't have the opportunity to slow down enough to find in a lot of places. Well, my dad founded the lodge in 1984, and when I was 12, I started doing dishes there, and the dish shift was from 5 o'clock in the morning till 10, and then 5 p.m. till 10 at night, and so I'd fish. I fished that Wise River up and down. Got to the point where it wasn't about catching fish. That was when I learned how important the rivers are to not just me and fly fishermen, but to everyone who has the opportunity to come experience it out here. I was born on the Wise River. When I went to grade school in Bozeman, I lived on Ross Creek. When I went to college, I lived on the Susquehanna River and saw what development and population growth and pollution can do to a waterway. There weren't trout in the Susquehanna, and it made me really appreciate what I'd grown up with back here. And compelled me to make sure we preserve what we have here, uh, so I moved home. Now I'm on the Big Hole River almost every day, and I fell in love with uh, the guiding aspect of the sport, not just the fishing, but teaching, and not only teaching the cast and how do you catch fish and how do you treat fish, but how do you interact with rivers? How do you be out here in this beautiful place and how do you slow down from your busy lives to really feel the power that exists in the valleys most rivers run through? In a day, you see eagles, you see moose. It's not about buying a ride at Disneyland to go down and get your thrills. It's about experiencing basically untamed land and the river is at the heart of all that. I mean, there are so many lessons that come out of rivers, and uh, my father got that at a young age. For him, it's always been about what can we learn from the river? What can we learn from our experiences out here? And that's what he's passed on to me. We've been guiding seven days a week for three months. We finally get a day off, and he says, do you want to go fishing today? I'd love to go fishing with you, Dad. I'd love to walk behind you on a river and just see how you interact with it because that was when I learned we need to protect what we have when we realize we have it rather than assume that it's going to be here forever.